Good afternoon, everybody. Um, now, this is just a really quick tip on how to shape those poodle tails. Um, I find so many of them look like Christmas trees. Or you, you guys complain saying, I can never get them round. Or there's always some something. Um, now, don't get me wrong. They're, a lot of the pet poodles, they have very wispy tails. Um, they don't really have the volume that we can get a nice round plump tail. Um, a real quick tip on that one um, is most of the time, at least most of the breeders that I'm used to, at like four or five weeks old, they don't tell you. This is a big secret. They shave those poodle puppies naked. <laughs> <laughs> they get rid of all that poodle puppy hair when they're young. Um, that way when they're eight weeks old, they got some plumpy hair and then they usually have really nice thick hair and that's exactly what um, my breeder does for her poodle puppies for show. Okay, when they're going to go in for show, that's how she creates this big nice thick coat. Especially on puppies, we don't have to deal with this wispy hair and things like that. So that's a tip that not many people know. But for the dogs that have wispy hairs and things like that. Um, I'm going to zoom in and I'm just, it's just something to quickly help you get the shape there when you don't have much to work with, okay? Because shaving their tails off now isn't gonna do anything. So this is just a quick I, tip on getting that shape um, so that you have something to work with, okay? Um, so I'm gonna try to zoom in and get him kind of angled on his bottom real quick. So, we've, um, I know this is probably going to be really grainy, and I really do apologize. Um, I'm working on trying to get better hair, uh, better, better quality. So, how is this going? Yep, that should work. Okay. So, um, we have a very typical pet poodle hair tail. Very thin, wispy, absolutely nothing to it whatsoever at all. Now, I'm going to tell you, his, this part of his tail is shaved really bad because the vet shaved it and I've only just gone down because he has some anal problems. So, in, in general, okay, his hair should be starting right about here. I hope you guys can see that. So, there is a whole lot more shaved on that tail than normal. Now, sometimes on the show ones, they will go up a little bit more to kind of emphasize um, some more elegance in the back end, show off the rear end, show off the tail set because there's just that much hair. Now, ideally, okay, if you put your finger right underneath their little bottom, put that, uh, put their tail down right at the top of your finger, right where the tail is, that's what you would want to shave. So don't look at that because that's not a very good haircut. But in, in general, the shape, okay? Now, not sure how everyone usually goes about shaping their tails, okay? Generally, everyone will pull that tail up and cut it off. Now, true, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, there's the tip of his tail. This is how much hair we have on the, the bottom half. Now, I kind of go a little bit more, so I have like a full thumb width of hair above, um, above his tail before I cut it so that I have hair to work with, okay? If you cut it right there at that tip, you get this really funny point at the very end, and it's hard to um, do it. So... So I just kind of make a, a little paintbrush. So this is a typical poodle tail that I see everyone do. Now this little trick, like I said, you can do this on your show ones. I, I do it on Adam, but he has a docked tail. Okay, but this is just to help me start that shape. Okay, so I comb everything down. And if he had a really nice tail set, okay, his tail would be further up. But I kind of comb everything down. And I take my scissors, and ideally his tail set would be about down here, but it's shaved up a little bit higher. We all know that, okay? These are pets. So then I just start going around, and I start cutting everything straight across, okay? Calm it down one more time. So you don't want to go down here and hold all this hair. You just want it laying naturally. And like I said, just cut everything so that 
if he had a nice tail set, and we'll see if I can turn sideways, you sort of want this off his back when you go to cut it, okay? He doesn't have the greatest tail set, that's all right. He, like I said, he's a pet. So we go around and we just kind of shave everything, or not shave everything, but we brush everything off so that, so now when we go to shake this out, we can see that we already have a little bit of a lift right here, right? We already have that bell shape, that roundness that we're working on. And I mean, we all have these type tails, okay? We all work with them. Now, one of the tricks, and I'll see if I can get them to angle this way. One of the tricks that I use, okay, is I use my curves. I like my big ones for this because then I can do the whole tail at once. This little point right here, okay, where this, it, because the hair is heavy, okay, so we shake that all out. I use the side of the dog. So I usually am standing directly behind the dog when I'm looking at them. And I use the width of the dog to identify how big of that tail I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna, I'm kinda eyeballing it. So, and I'm just using my curves and I'm going straight up. Okay, I'm not rounding or anything, I'm just going straight up. Sorry, I do have to get in your guys' way to do this. I, okay. And you just kinda keep shaking that tail out. And so all I've done is just take that edge off and see how much more lift we got going, okay? And again, we just kinda, this is why I like to leave some hair at the very top of the tail. And I just start taking off that edge and making this round up into it. I wish we had more hair up here, but we don't. But, you know, we all know that when they put their tail down and stuff like that, um, it, we at least kind of have that shape. Now to do the very bottom half of this on a very wispy tail like this, and I probably need to angle this down. So, come here bud. Okay, this is where, sometimes I'll hold this out. And you already have that curve going. You just, you can pretty much see what you're doing. But I'll hold this tail down a little bit. And like I said, we have pretty much a nice little round tail um, to work with. We really can't go any more than that only because, well, his, he has not much hair to work with. And then this is where you can scissor up that top and squash it down some more because you've given yourself some, some playroom, okay? So we all have tails that we don't like. And it's just pretty much just scissoring that edge off, kind of like you're doing a bell on the foot of a cocker. You brush that hair down and then you just take the edge off. You brush it down, you take the edge off. And when I have a big cocker spaniel in that I can do that with, I will definitely show you guys how to do that. But for those who know how to do that, that's similar concept of what you're doing here. Um, and I hope that this helps um, at least help you shape that tail just a little bit. And like I said, it's nice and round, okay? It's, um, at least doesn't look like a Christmas tree. <laughs> so you kind of have some shape. I'm trying to go out, there we go. So, um, that was just a quick little tip um, on shaping those poodle tails. Maybe when I actually have my boy Adam, the only hard part about him when I do him, he's got a docked tail because he came over from the States with me and most of you all deal with natural tails. That was something I had to really learn how to do was do natural tails on dogs because dogs that have docked tails are ones that we normally have um, docked at home and things like that. So I'm gonna let you go finish your days, but I hope that that little tip at least helps shape the dogs. I know he doesn't have a very good tail to do much with, but neither do all the other poodles that we do. So keep liking, keep commenting, and keep posting, all right? Thanks guys.